Hey guys, what's going on? Richie from Photons Across the Year. So of course it's around Christmas time, so what do you expect? <laughs> this is the, uh, well basically the all new uh, Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 Bluetooth. This is basically the new version of the Klipsch Pro Media series. This is a very popular speaker system. In fact, it was actually voted one of the best sounding Bluetooth speakers, not Bluetooth speakers, basically one of the best PC speakers under $200 for several years running. In fact, this thing has some pretty deep history. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, the Klipsch Pro Media brand or name actually started back in 2001. So this speaker system has been around, the Pro Media system has been around since 2001. That's 16 years, almost 17 years. So Clips has changed some things over the you know course of a few four or five years. The, new, the newest feature to the Clips Pro Media series is the BT or the Bluetooth. Um, now the cool thing is, is, as far back as I can remember, even five ten years ago, um, I mean I remember when I, I first saw these at, at, at a Best Buy, you know eight nine years ago. I loved them. I loved them immediately. Uh, but the first thing that I noticed that changed, I don't know if it was basically the newer versions or from the older versions. If you guys remember correctly, the actual mid-range speakers would have those little blips that were sitting right on the outside of the cone in the middle part of the mid-range. Uh, those little basically dots or the little blips that you'd see. Basically you'd see them kind of next to each other. I believe those are basically just covering the positive and negative of the actual uh, speaker itself. I could be completely wrong but this uh, they pretty much eliminated those little blips on the outside of the mid-range uh, middle part of the speaker so you don't see those anymore. They have that traditional studio look now. So of course, um, you know, as you guys know, Bluetooth speakers and speaker systems in general are some of the some of basically the hardest things to review on YouTube because you obviously can't hear what I hear. All you can do is take my word for it and hope for the best if you go to purchase something. But like I said, you just you can't really hear what I'm hearing unless you're listening to it on another Pro Media system, I assume. Um, but uh, you know, you just have to take the person's word for it. And these things just sound incredible. And of course, I'm no stranger to good sound. I have the uh, the shaker system in my stereo or in my car. I've had the Harman Kardon Onyx. I've had uh, a wide variety of of really good sound systems, such as you know a hundred dollar pair of Sony headphones. Uh, now those may not be the best headphones in the world, but I am no stranger to, to really good sound. Um, of course, I've never actually experienced a two or three thousand dollar pair of headphones like Sony does have. Uh, but Sony not being the topic of it, the Klipsch Pro Media actually is. So. Um, I'm not really going to play any music because I, I feel that there's no point in doing so. But what I will do is go over some really cool things and what I find to be cons and pros to the speaker system. Um, one thing is that the Bluetooth version, such as this version, um, it basically has an auxiliary cable that is hardwired into the speaker itself. So I'll take this off here and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Um, now I'm not sure about previous versions before this, but I do know that the uh, basically the unfortunate thing could be the unfortunate thing is that the auxiliary cable is basically hardwired into the main act to the basically the main speaker, which is the right speaker. Uh, it's hardwired into it, so you can't really take it off. So it's, if this does start to wear out over time, you can't replace it unless you know how to uh, basically clip the wire and wire up a new one. But it is hardwired into the main speaker, so you can't take the auxiliary out of it. Now I think on the previous models, on, on a couple of years ago, or even last year's model, uh, it did have a, uh, an actual power switch so you turn the knob all the way over and I believe it would turn it off. Um, not 100% sure, the last time I, I basically have a friend who used to have uh, some Pro Media ones, uh, the older Pro, Pro Media uh, speakers, about five or six years ago, and if I'm not mistaken, hers actually did click off, but this does not turn off until you actually unplug it, so it is on continuously. Uh, until you unplug it from the wall, which isn't a setback at all, um, so keep that in mind. I find it to be very, very interesting how this thing can hit such low notes. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, I've actually got stereo systems that claim that they have a subwoofer built in, and they're literally 8-inch subwoofers, and they don't even come close to hitting as low in notes as the, um, you know, the Klipsch Pro Media does. This, this thing just, it, it hits low notes like you would not believe. It's amazing. However, keep in mind that it won't hit your really, really low notes, like basically the notes that a 10 or a 12 inch subwoofer in a car would do. It's not gonna hit notes that low. The frequency just cannot go that low. The sub's too small. The smaller the sub, the less it's gonna be able to pick up on the lower frequency, uh, basically the sound waves, the low frequencies. So basically the bigger the sub, the lower the notes can go. 
So like I said, this isn't gonna hit your crazy, crazy low notes, but you can tell a different, uh, a definitely a big difference in, in sound quality as far as lows are concerned. You have that nice ported box. I don't know if it's an actual ported box or if it's an actual tube that goes inside there and up around like some of the Bose systems do. It might, I don't know, I'll have to check that out later. Uh, but here is the side angle, of course, and I believe it is a six inch. There's the main speaker, and there's your left speaker. All right, so I don't have my microphone plugged into my camera, so we're just going to record it without the microphone plugged in, but you guys can still hear me. So we'll show you guys here that traditional subwoofers usually use a ported box consisting of just a hole that's been drilled into this box itself, uh, but that's not gonna do anywhere near as much as it would if you were to uh, tube the system basically like a lot of the high-end systems usually do. You can see where the actual thing does curve upward. It probably goes around the actual sub itself and towards the back. So if you were to use a fiber optic camera, you could probably see uh, that it does go pretty far in there and probably loops around the sub itself, so. Now remember that this is THX certified, um, which is great. You can wire this thing or basically hook it up to your, your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 or Xbox and you can watch a movie on there and it's going to sound amazing. I haven't actually done that yet, but I plan on doing that in the future. There's your Klipsch logo. 2.1 Bluetooth. Where's your main volume? Your subwoofer volume. This light basically stays red, I believe. I guess I could plug it in and find out. I haven't really plugged it in in a while. It's literally 21 degrees outside and there's no heater in this part of the house. So, <laughs> all right, so basically it stays white and when it's trying to link up to or sync up to a Bluetooth device, it basically turns blue and white. So when you're basically, uh, when you just got it wired into the auxiliary input, um, that light just stays constant white. Of course, wiring up is super simple. You have your, of course, your negative and positive for both sides, left and right. And you have your, uh, basically the um, preamp input, which is, Obviously, this um, input over here that's connected to the right speaker. I'll tell you one thing that's actually really fun to do is play a song, listen to it through uh, auxiliary or Bluetooth, <laughs> and unplug all four of these and basically just have the subwoofer going. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of fun. You know, I've got. I've got the Harman Kardon Onyx and I've had it for about three years now and I absolutely love it, but there's just something so different about listening to something that's say THX certified, uh, something that has a separate powered subwoofer, you know, Bluetooth speakers just cannot compare to something of this nature, something like this. It's definitely a different sound quality and it feels way different than listening to an actual Bluetooth speaker where there are no subwoofers built into it at all. There are a couple of Bluetooth speakers out there that do have subwoofers built in, but when you have a separate powered subwoofer attached to, uh, you know, a left and right speaker that can be separated from the actual sub itself, then it sounds way different. So, like I said, there's no point in me actually playing music because you're not going to be able to hear it the way that I hear it, not even close, so I might as well just leave it off. Installation, of course, really only takes about five minutes. It's not hard to do. Anybody could do it. A five-year-old could do it, really. Just follow the uh, wires left and right, hook it up that way. It's, it's, it's quite simple. Um, so there's not really much else. I think I covered as much as I possibly could. And if you're thinking about getting this, this, uh, this, this speaker system, it's definitely worth the money. It's well worth the money. I think you can pick these up for 150 bucks at Best Buy now, even Amazon maybe. There was a lot of speculation. I had heard from someone that the newer version, the Pro Media 2.1 BT, this version, uh, actually put out less power than the previous models, but that's actually not true. The older models are 200 watts along with this one. This one is also 200 watts. Uh, so the sound, there's no reason they would drop the, um, the power on this one <laughs> than the older models. That would make no sense. So Klipsch has been around since 1946. I think it's actually pretty cool that when you look down here, specifically says official speakers or rock and roll hall of fame all right so hopefully uh hopefully i covered as much as i could about the new uh, uh clips pro media 2.1 the uh, bluetooth version i covered as much as i possibly could they're pretty simple there's really nothing uh, to it it's pretty straightforward uh, basically all this this is just thoughts and uh, pros and cons basically just talking about uh, well highly praising the product itself and not uh, talking about how it's an amazing product that uh, if you are thinking about getting it there's no question that you should so yeah, thanks for watching guys.